Hello everyone and welcome to the SharePoint Developer Training Course Programming C Sharp 4.0 Lesson 6. Today we're going to be talking about logical operators. Let's go ahead and open up our program from the previous lesson. Uh, you'll see I've already changed today's itinerary and we're going to be talking about the logical operators and or and not. If you're not familiar with what uh, these values are, I would Google them and just Google logical operators and read the Wikipedia page. Uh, but basically, it's, it's a way to evaluate logical statements. I guess that would be the, the easiest way for me to put it. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and modify our program from the last lesson. If you remember, we were storing a, a Boolean, which is true or false, into this my result. Uh, well, in order to make it a little clearer, we're actually going to change this to bool my true and just set that equal to true and bool my false equal to false. And then we'll change, we'll we can just remove my result. And now we can simply place my true in here and we know that we should get uh, true. It should evaluate the true and, and true will be written to the screen. And it was, and then we'll try my false, which obviously should also be uh, written to the screen was a false. Perfect. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do our AND logical operator. So my false and my true, uh, that would equate to false, and we'll run it, and that's false. Now, um, basically AND, everything has to evaluate to true, otherwise it is false. Uh, for OR, only one thing has to evaluate to true. So if we go ahead and put OR here, so false or true is true, this is true. And now NOT is pretty easy. So let's try this. Okay, we'll do NOT my false. And here it means we should get true. Exactly. And you can string a lot of these together. Uh, see, not my false, and and true or false. So what do we think we're going to get here? So we have true and true equals to true. So we have true then or false. So it means we have a true and then a false, which means we should come up with true here. So anyways, uh, this is really what logical operators are about. It may seem like they're not really useful now, but once you start getting into loops and things like that and actually making our programs, you know, model, uh, you know, business logic and things like that, uh, these items are pretty much, or these logical operators are pretty much indispensable. So thank you for joining us, and if you have any questions, please just let us know, and we'll see you for the, uh, for the next one.